Hi, I'm Scott from Micro Tool Welding, and today we're going to be working on an old Harley transmission. It's off a pan head. This transmission had threaded rods in these two locations, like these over here. They got stripped, or this one got broken right out. A tool maker made these plugs for me. He knurled the sides, they're aluminum. The knurling is going to keep the plug from slipping all the way down through. It's going to hold it into the transmission. We're going to put the top of this plug even with the top of this surface here. We have a nice weld prep here for the weld. This one right here, we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to add material right here on this aluminum to build it up. I also wanted to mention that we drilled out the old threads and cleaned the hole before we put the aluminum plugs in. We're gonna put the aluminum plugs in. Just use a hammer. Okay, they're flush. This transmission's out of an old pan head. It's been holding oil for, I don't know, 50, 60 years. Really saturated, has paint, dirt, everything you really don't want on there when you're welding aluminum. I can actually start welding it cold with my welder. And what my machine, my welding machine is gonna do is actually gonna be putting heat in there before I can even add material to get a good weld pool. I'm just gonna help my machine out. I'm gonna start preheating it with some MAP gas and um, that'll help speed up the uh, welding process once I start uh, welding this. I'm using 4043 aluminum welding rod, it's 332nd, using argon gas and seriated tungsten. As you can see right here, I press fit these plugs in. The top of this plug's even with this, and same with this one right here. I'm gonna start adding material here, building this up. I'm gonna actually bond the case of the transmission to the plug. Actually, this is welding a lot better than I thought it was going to weld. Usually, the castings, they weld very dirty. This is welding uh, pretty clean. It's always a good practice to put a little weld down there and then wire brush it. I'm just using a regular hand drill with a wire cup brush. Now we're gonna put some more weld in there. This weld chamfer right here, I'm just gonna go in there and burn in as good as I can. Try to fill it in completely and then add material as needed. Get a close up of that. I got really good penetration. I'm, I'm really happy how this is welding up. Not too dirty. I'm gonna wire brush it again. Then I'm gonna start adding this corner here, fill in this, and then reestablish this side. gonna fix this corner a little bit here. We'll do a little walk around. 
around, get a close up. You want to get these corners square all the way over here. You want the surfaces to be a little bit higher so when they machine it or grind it down, they can blend it right in with the existing surfaces. Same with the sidewall, corners, blend that right in. Now we're gonna weld this chamfer right here. We're gonna go in and do the same thing I did over here. Just go in and burn in, probably melt that plug right down in there, get good penetration, add material where it's a little bit higher than uh, this surface here. able to weld this plug right in without going over this square edge. I'm going to put a little bit more right here. Did all that welding with one rod. Let her cool down and she's ready for the customer.